So recently, my car cover got stolen in the um, 1962 Impala. And uh, because of that, I bought a camera because I live in apartments and uh, I bought a camera to uh, keep an eye out at nighttime and it'll send me, you know, a, a notification an alarm when somebody's, when it senses motion in my vehicles, you know. But um, I bought this on Amazon for, I want to say 40 bucks. I, I don't remember, it was 30 something, maybe 40 bucks and it's from China. And it's not a, um, not a fancy, you know, I've seen a couple for $200 and plus, you know, guys get them installed that unlock the doors. It's nothing like that. It's just a simple, um, very simple, really. It's got a positive, it's got a red and a black wire. It's got a positive and ground and it's just a horn. It's just a siren, right? And it's shock, it's shock censored. So pretty much if the, the hood opens, the door closes, if, if, if anybody jumps in the car and it feels, it feels movement, you know, like that, to that degree, it'll, it'll, it'll alarm. And, um, that's all I need, really. It's, it's not like I, I leave my car. It's not like I go to, like, football games and stuff and leave, drive my Impala to the game and leave it unattended for, you know. It's not like, I drive it, and everywhere I go, I, I park it very close. It's not like I leave, go to the mall or something like that. And leave it in the garage or something crazy like that. I haven't done it like that yet, but it's been overdue. I've had this car for three years now, and I haven't had any alarm system on it, and nobody's been fucking with it. You know, I is what I have right now is one of those steering wheel locks, just in case somebody wants to jump in. And um, my car doesn't need a key. You can drive. You can turn it on without the key. But um, if anybody lives close to me, you know, you can go ahead and try to steal my car. It's cool. <laughs> you know, you won't get too far. I'll just call the cops. Say there's a 62 Impala out on the street. You know, you'll be found real fast. And anyways, um, and it's not like, I don't think people know how to drive my car. Like, if you press my brakes, it'll, it'll, um, a dude will, a motherfucker will wreck. You can't just drive. You have to learn. It's like riding a horse. You can't just drive it on the highway. You have to learn, know how to ride this car. So I don't have very much uh, fear of someone stealing it and getting far. You know, I don't have that at all. But this is just more of a security blanket just to get I – I don't like how my car cover got stolen. Somebody went under my car, and it was strapped three times in the front, in the middle, and in the back. And somebody unhooked and unstrapped my car cover and, and stole it, you know. And if I had an alarm system, I would have at least – heard it you know if i had a if i had a camera i would have seen it it would have notified me that somebody's fucking with my shit and just the idea of somebody fucking with the shit it's not a good it's not a good feeling and it's not a it's like i i wonder if they think they can do it again right and they're, they're not they're not going to because i'm gonna have an alarm system and and if I see something, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out there and beat somebody's fucking ass, you know, and, and or at least show them that there's consequences to to what you do. And I fucking hate thieves, man, more than anything. People who steal and get away with it, thinking they can, because they're gonna go off to some other motherfucker, to some poor somebody else, and do the same shit to somebody else because nobody taught them a lesson, nobody loved them enough to teach them that you don't do this, you know. So that's just my little, that's my little rant, man. If I ever see somebody try to steal something from me, it's game on, man. And and, and it, I don't care if I'm outnumbered. Someone's gonna get, you know, someone's gonna feel something, you know. And it, it might be me, but it's definitely gonna be somebody else. Anyways, man. Hopefully, let's see if this works. <laughs> so this is the alarm system. That little, this guy right here. Motion detected. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just the positive and the negative, and um, that's all there is to it. Um, it's locked right now, so when I open up my door, usually it sounds. Damn, that's not a good. That's not a good. Uh, there you go. Um, the sensitivity level is at four right now. I think the highest is seven. 
So, uh, here I'll bang into the car. I'll bang again and say, fuck this guy's car. Fuck this guy's car. <laughs> okay, I need to set my, I need to set it up a little bit more, um, sensitive. But right now, I think it's good. So I'm pretty satisfied with it. It's pretty simple, easy. Get the little and the unlock is lock is. Um, I think to to change out the settings, I need to look up the the sensitivity. I mean, I need to look at the the manual. And I'm pretty sure you hold down. I don't have it with me, but I'm pretty sure you hold down two buttons. Um, I think the lock and the unlock, you hold them both down and then you hear a beep. I'm not sure. I'm pretty, I'm honestly okay with um, the basic setting. I'll probably go one more, maybe five. It's at four out of seven right now. So I'll probably go to five and see how I like that. You see how I just opened up the front and it didn't go off. So I didn't, I don't like, you know, I don't like that, but I'm sure if somebody opens it up quietly, but then gets in and sits down. Oh, it's, it's not locked. Let me lock it. Okay, somebody opens the door, gets in. Okay, uh, lock. Yeah, it's whatever, dude. It's whatever. It's not. It's not bad for a forty-dollar shock test. So uh, I need to figure out how to get the sensitivity levels up but other than that i'm satisfied with it oh shit well, that's a good way to end the video all right guys peace out